Um, what are we doing? Right, John's, it's going to be, what I'm going to do, I'm going to condense today's and tomorrow's into one because I'm going to nip off some and get some cedar. So it'll be a short one today, but I'll just tell you what we're doing. John's running the lights. Um, now, if you've watched us before, you'll know what kind of roof system we use and I'm not going to go into it again because people just like get really upset about it. I mean, the guy got really upset on the group the other night um, and then he sent me an email saying he was going to have a property training standards because I was building bad roofs or something. Anyway, so we're not going to talk about hybrid roofs anymore. You either do it your way or do it my way or do it whichever way you want. I'm not really bothered. Right, he's running one mil cable, twin and earth for the LEDs. It's a bit of a funny one with the triangle because it's a bit hard to set out. Um, we're having four, three, two, and then one here, but the customer wants these ones to come on independently to the front ones. Um, so what, when she's in here on her own, the desk is gonna be over here and she's just gonna have these lights on. That's what she wants anyway. Right, so we're using 50 mil in the wall. It's a cavity bat there. Look, you can see that it's for actually, um, they're designed to go when you're building an extension or building a house, whatever. So they're 1200 by 450. We cut it along, it's 450. So there's your 450 there and another 450 there. That gives us 900 and then we'll drop us noggin on top of there. It's not quite half, but it's absolutely fine. Saves, cut, saves a lot of cutting and a lot of time as well. So that's going to happen there. Like this little corner here is not going to get in to skim it properly. So what I've done, I've put a couple more timbers in. I'm going to rock wool behind there and then I'm going to pull that to there like that. Screw through there and then we'll be able to put a plasterboard on there and run plaster boards into there. And he should be able to skim that successfully, but obviously I'm gonna rock wood behind that as well. Um, what else is it to tell you? Right, so you know I'm giving away this pass lord. Right, it's brand new. It's a 350 and it's the seventh generation one. Right, all you need to do is send me your name and address and you have to follow us on Instagram. Right, Pazlord messaged me yesterday and they're not very happy. Um, and I thought, do you know what? And I went, yeah, no problem. What they want me to do is say it's not in collaboration with them because it goes against their competition guidelines or something crazy like that. And last night I was thinking about it and I thought, you know what? What's it got to do with them? I bought the gun. The gun belongs to me. I can do what the hell I want with it. It's not in collaboration. Puzzle haven't given me the gun, but it, it's, it's my gun and I'm going to give it to one of you guys. Right, so what we're going to talk about now is the fact Puzzle have pissed me off a little bit and the reason why we're not using the Paz Lord at this time of year. Brendan, just get us a lamp from Timber, will you, mate? This straight out of the box, battery should be charged. We've got some nails, Davy. Is there a few on that rock all around there? There is, mate, yeah. Right, straight out of the box. And the reason why that is not firing is because the gas is cold. Now, Pazlord haven't improved on that. They've been brought out another gun um, with a different kind of gas and it's more expensive, but they've still brought out this 350. Now the 350 is great 10 months of the year, but as you can see there, it don't work at this time of year. But if you get one of these, just hold it again Brandon, will you? Put it in the bump mod. Just put it on there so that I can't, that I don't. There we go. That doesn't miss a beat. I probably should have given away one of them, to be fair. Um, but like I say, it's not in conjunction with Paz Lord, um, but they seem to have been upset by what I'm doing. Uh, probably because my competitions are better than anybody else's competitions, and I give away more than anybody else does. £550 that cost me. I'm going to give it away for nothing. Right, so this is your Christmas giveaway. It's a free giveaway. Um, let, let's tell you how, how you enter first. First of all, right, you need to send um, a self-addressed envelope to my house. On that envelope, right, it has to have your Instagram name on it as well as your own name. If it doesn't have your Instagram name on it, when I draw it out, you won't win the gun. It's as simple as that. So if you're not following us on Instagram, you have to follow us. I want your name, your address, and your Instagram name. And if I pull you out on the 24th of December, then you'll win this. It's seventh generation. Brand new, 550 quid it costs, or thereabouts. Um, they reckon it's the bees knees as far as the 350 is concerned. Um, it, it has got a few upgrades. It allows you to put the nails in now without having to release that. It says it's got a better comfier grip, but I'd actually like that. Um, and it fires more shots. And the battery goes in a lot easier and out, apparently. Right, but that is your free giveaway. So all I want, like I said, you give me the chance of winning that, and I'll post it anywhere in the world as well. I'll go out on a limb and say that. 
All I want is your name. You have to follow us on Instagram and I need your Instagram name and your address and a self-addressed envelope. And if you watch the video at the end, or my address will come up. It needs to come to my address and full details of what you need on it needs to be there. And that's it. You remember the chance of winning that. It's completely free. It'll cost you the price of a stamp. So I guess what's a stamp these days? Nearly a pound or something like that. Right, so that's your free giveaway. Right, so that's that. We're going to insulate this. Tomorrow we are going to plaster the body. You can see there, look, because we've used furrings, we're not going to get PIR insulation in there. So David took some rock wool in it just to insulate that. We will also have an issue with these little details here. We'll get in as much PIR as we can, and then it will be rock wool from the outside as well. And that'll be that. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shoot off to Duffield Timber um, and pick up Cedar and might do a little video there for you as well. So that's it. If you want that pass, Lord, I want your name and address on an envelope, but you have to follow us on Instagram and I want your Instagram name. So when I pull it pull it out of the box, this envelope, I'll check straight away. And if you're not following us on Instagram, you won't win the gun and that'll be disappointing for you and it'll be live and there'll be somebody else that's gonna win it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw it on New Year's Day, simply because I've got a couple of guys from Southern Ireland says that they won't get mail to me in time because it rails mail strikes and stuff like that. So I've cancelled the Christmas Eve one. What I'm going to do now is do it on New Year's Day, so you've got more time to get you in. You can enter as many times as you want, yeah? Right, go in. Yeah, right, so it's fully insulated now, 50 inch walls, 100 inch roof, 100 inch floor. What we're going to do now is put this uh, moisture barrier over it. Um, the report did say it was pretty redundant, but we still carry on doing it anyway. If nothing else, um, I tend to feel it helps your plaster dry out a little bit better because the water's contained and do you know it stops because what what basically what i'm saying is when you put your finger up in the light when it's being plastered it looks dry but it's still wet underneath so the plastic is sort of containing it and it dries it out a lot quicker i feel so we're going to carry on with that anyway um because the bays are bigger that we've just dropped some osb we've fixed it through there because what we want to do there's nothing to stop the boards from flapping about there what we'll go do, what david will do then he'll go outside and he'll tuck loads of rock wool up where we couldn't actually get in with pir so that's it we're going to use this barrier there we're going to staple that up and then we're going to have a go at plasterboard and ceiling it's practically a plasterboard now so you can see the ceiling we tried to put it as full of balls as we could we balls that one up i don't know what we were thinking in there but we've got it right now and you can see at the back there if you want to come in david i've just flattened off that corner there just so that he can get his trowel in although whether or not he'll thank me for that i don't know but that'll be like a little trowel i'd imagine just so that we can plaster that properly and get the skirting board on there as well john's already pulled his lights down um mount them all out we'll we always pull them down before we plaster just make sure we've got them in the right place and if not we'll just whip them off um and then he's going to go around and he's going to put all his back boxes in which are somewhere where are they david there they are plasterboard patches back boxes so that, that'll be that tom's coming to plaster saturday um, and I think tomorrow now I'm going to have some news on a new raffle, a, a cash raffle, which will be drawn on Christmas Eve. So keep watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.